So next term 21. Explain where clause. Explain where clause and group by clause. Group by clause and order by clause. And order by clause. Clauses are very very important. So they will ask you explain where clause, group by clause and having clauses. These are the different types of clauses we are having. Okay. And um, 22nd question. So here explain. Okay. Explain. So let us see here what is the next question we are having. So explain. <clears throat> NBL function. So don't write like this. Explain is nothing but uh, uh, see differentiate between null functions. We are having NBL function and NBL2 function. So this is very very important. So difference between NBL function. NBL function and NBL2 function. NBL2 function. So this is very very important. Why? Because both are uh, look similar. So in NBL function you need to consider the first argument. In NBL2 function you need to consider the second argument. So that is the main difference between NBL and uh, N NBL and NBL2. Okay. So next term we need to take 23rd one. Okay. So here you need to differentiate between differentiate between okay. Um, null if. So null if is also nothing but one of the null functions. Okay. And collase. Collase function. Most of the people don't know about null if and collase function. Everybody know about NBL function and NBL2 function. But in most of the interviews, they are asking about an if and Coles function also. Okay. So now we are going to discuss about 24th question. Okay. They will ask you what is query. What is query. Why? Because in SQL everything you are going to call it as an what is query. Right. So next year 25th question. What is primary key. What is primary key. So they will ask you can we create table level and column level. Can we create a primary key in table level or column level. Okay. So next to 26th. What is foreign key? What is foreign key? So next to 27th one. What is unique key? What is unique key? So next to 28th one. So what is default constraint? Default constraint. So here write down unique constraint. Unique constraint. So next here 29th one. What is not null constraint? Not null constraint. In some interviews they will ask you. When you are using unique constraint. Can we use default constraint? In, in, in some interviews they will ask you. Uh, when we are using default constraint. Can we apply not null constraint? For single column. At any time you can apply default constraint on not null constraint or not. They want to confuse you. So that is the reason they will ask you. When we are using default constraint. Can we apply non null not null constraint to the same column or not. Okay. And 30th question. So what is. What is. <coughs> check constraint. What is. Check constraint. So this is very very important guys. So that is the reason I am discussing about a check constraint also. When you are going to um, give uh, range 
so that is nothing but if the manager is uh, joined with the alphabet sum x y z if the the person uh, joined in the department like 10 20 30 departments so like that we can use this check construct